at some point in the history, in some countries, the newspapers noticed that it's not wise to send a reporter to a distant place, but it's much wiser to share the costs if the newspapers didn't really compete with that content. And then that started to develop. In the 19th century, they combined two things. They combined news and technology. And by doing that, um, they uh, produced this uh, new thing, um, telegraph news or electronic news. The core of the news agency is that it has a news service. And we are, of course, talking mostly about national news agencies. So typically that news service has most of the media in the country should be their clients. It's a kind of a building block of the national news media system in which the news agency produces a basic service for the news media of the country. In newspapers, typically news agencies uh, uh, provide news that are published in newspaper, typically on items that are published in very many newspapers. In broadcast, uh, news agencies typically uh, produce background information for the newsroom and the newsrooms then produce television and radio news uh, based on that background information. Nowadays, of course, everybody uses them for online publishing. Two-thirds of the world's news agencies are funded um, by the state. On the other end, you see purely commercial uh, funding models in which the media are clearly just clients and they negotiate whether they are willing to buy the service and they negotiate on the price very freely. The crisis, as always, um, um, has kind of many roots and in a way when we talk about news agencies um, they are part of a larger crisis that is not only national but um, a global crisis. I think what has always been um, really important for news agencies is speed and of course if we look at the history of news agencies it was the telegraph that made speed spot possible and they always wanted to be the first. That has now changed because in a way, if we think of social media, if we think of the internet, to be the first is extremely difficult because we are talking about nanoseconds here instead of minutes or hours or days. Internet and social media, their, their good implications is that in a way that media has, has been democratized and, and information is available for everybody for free. And I think that's a, that's a kind of a thing that will be there forever. It can't be kind of a reverse anymore. So information is available, which means that it's hard to sell news information. It's very, very difficult to sell that. But on the other hand, if it's available for free everywhere, the fake news, the false information is available as well. I think one of the implications, which may be very real now, is that some of these news agencies uh, may um, die. We need to ask this question, do we still need national news agencies? And if there are no national news agencies, or if there is no national news agency in a country, who will then replace that organisation? If all news agencies would collapse, then um, probably contemporary companies like Google News or um, Google or Facebook would take over. Whether that is a good thing or a bad thing, um, we simply yet don't know, but this is what we are trying to find out. It's a question in the future, do you still want that kind of a service to exist? Is it a government decision that it exists, which typically means that there is a government funding for that? Or are the agencies kind of a finding a new model in which there is a kind of a business sense of having that kind of operation as part of, of, a, of a wider uh, company, which also has some other uh, profitable operations, 
which can kind of cross subsidize that, but for business reasons. Many of these organizations had to rethink about their operations and have successfully um, revised their business model and have become um, financially viable. So in a way it's not only uh, bad news, it's good news because if there is a crisis you have to kind of seriously think of what you are doing and then do it differently. What is now important is to underline that there are these organisations that um, uh, do deliver news professionally and they have been doing it for a very long time.